start now the question that begs consideration in the light of the submissions advanced across the bar is whether the principles of natural justice were observed in compliance or not stop as stated here in above rule 81 of rule 1976 does prescribed observance of the principles of natural justice stop from a close scrutiny of the inquiry report dated 29 10 1993 it that the inquiry officer has found the petitioner guilty on the basis of the reply to the charge sheet submitted by the petitioner and other documents but not a single witness was examined by the inquiry officer in the presence of the petitioner and also no date time and place was fixed by the inquiry officer stop it is not discernible from the inquiry report that the petitioner was never granted any opportunity of personal hearing or cross examine the witnesses and in the circumstances there appears to be non compliance of regulation 81 bracket a of the 1976 rules which enjoins due observance of the principles of natural justice stop in this connection article 14 of the constitution of india may also be referred which clearly postulates that authority competent to pass orders is required to record reasons which is one of the principles of natural justice governing exercise of power by the administrative authority stop it is well enunciated in various decisions of the high court and the apex court that the disciplinary authority has to apply his mind to the record apart from the finding recorded by the inquiry officer before coming to the conclusion whether the charge of misconduct has been proved against the delinquent stop para merely asking the petitioner to submit an explanation in my opinion is not sufficient where it is proposed to impose a major punishment stop there are two kinds of hearings a personal hearing and second non personal hearing stop when it is proposed to impose a minor punishment such as withholding of increments or a fine or warning in non personal hearing would suffice stop in a per non personal hearing all that has been done is that the delinquent employee is issued a show cause notice to which he gives a written reply and on that reply the punishment is straight away imposed giving reasons stop in such a case it is not necessary to hold a full fledged oral inquiry giving the concerned employee an opportunity of producing his witnesses and cross examining the witnesses against him stop however when it is proposed to impose a major punishment like dismissal ordinarily a full fledged inquiry must be held stop this is because a major punishment not only has very serious consequences upon the employee but would adversely affect the family stop hence the law imposes a stricter and elaborate procedure requiring a full fledged oral inquiry in cases of major punishment in such a case in such cases it is ordinarily necessary for the employer to issue a notice to the employee indicating the the date time and place of the inquiry 
after appointing an inquiry officer stop on the date and time fixed the witnesses against the concerned employee is required to be examined ordinarily in his presence and he must be given an opportunity to cross examine them stop over